The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, The kingdom of heaven is like a treasure buried in a field, which a person finds and hides again, and out of joy goes and sells all that he has and buys that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant searching for fine pearls. When he finds a pearl of great price, he goes and sells all that he has and buys it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear friends, let us be mindful that every time Jesus makes use of parables, he actually talks about the kingdom of heaven. And speaking of this, there are two things, heaven and earth. Langit, lupa. Sa langit, andun ang Diyos. Ang nasa lupa, tao. But the objective the objective of man's journey here on earth is to reach heaven. That is why we need to prepare something. We need proper preparation upang tayong lahat ay makatating sa langit. Yun po ang napakalinaw sa ating pananampalataya. Lupa, langit, tao, Diyos. Sana darating ang panahon tayong mga tao ay maging kaisa ng Diyos sa langit. That is why, with these parables that we heard from Jesus, we are being reminded of the things that we should do, how to prepare heaven. Ito yung dapat natin gagawin. If you heard about the stories about the tenants, the parables of the weeds, so you will see from there, ano yung mga dapat gagawin natin? First of all, we need guidance because purely human power, we cannot make it. Napakalinaw po pagdating sa langit. Kapag langit ay pinag-uusapan, simply by human power, it's impossible to happen. That is why we need guidance. And using, hearing from Jesus with these parables, dito natin malalaman that we need divine intervention. Another thing, the valuing of small things we have to begin with the small matters. We heard about this from the parable of the mustard seed. Kung gaano kahalaga ang pagsisimula sa pagiging maliit. Pagbibigay halaga sa mga maliliit na bagay. Pagbibigay halaga sa mga gawain maliliit na bagay. And today, there is another way how to prepare for us to be able to reach heaven. Definitely the first one mentioned about the parable of the treasures. That is about what? Giving up something for the most essential thing in life. And that is heaven. That when we reach heaven, we have to undergo this kind of giving up something. We have to be mindful of the most essential thing. And that is none other than heaven. And the second part, I think this is something very meaningful for me. Actually, among the images of heaven, this second part, the second parable, is for me the most meaningful, the parable of the pearl. And what is the message for this? The message is actually, when we talk about the journey towards heaven, we need to undergo personal transformation. There could be many kinds of transformation, but what kind of transformation? It's a transformation in the midst of sufferings and difficulties in life. And that is why Jesus made use of the parable of the pearl. Do you know how this pearl is formed? Alam niyo po ba kung paano nabubuo ang perlas? You might be wondering, bakit hindi diamonds? Bakit hindi gold, hindi rubies? But of all, why pearl? Bakit nga ba? 
Again, as I have said, it's all about personal transformation out of our human weaknesses. Anong assumption nito? The journey here on earth is definitely not easy. There could be dif difficulties. There could be struggles. But we have to transform in the midst of that. And that is exactly what is being reminded of us when it comes to this parable of the pearl. Alam niyo po ba na yung perlas ay nabubuo out of irritations or difficulties of the oyster? A pearl is actually a reaction of an oyster to something it causes that causes it injury or irritation. Yung pearl po na makikita sa sa taklobo or, or talaba or oyster ay hindi po yung tipong gumaw, nilabas na lang na buo. It's actually a reaction of of that something that causes the oyster injury or irritation. Parang automatic yan eh, parang tao yan. Na kapag may dumapo na lamok sa kamay mo, automatic yan, instinct sa tao. Anong ginagawa ng tao? Pak! Kapag nakikita mo yung lamok na punong-puno na ng dugo, ang dami na nakuha sa'yo, automatic yan. A reaction to something that causes you irritation or pain. But in the case of, of an oyster, in, in, instead of, of doing something, killing the irritation, the oyster will do something to reduce that irritation. Ano yung causes ng mga irritation? Limbawa, kapag ito'y tinatamaan ng mga objects, naaapektuhan dahil sa lakas ng tubig. O di kaya yung mismong sand sa ilalim ng dagat. Kapag nai-irritate ang oyster, the oyster will do something to reduce that irritation. How? By coming up with a kind of substance, a crystal-like calcium sa loob mismo ng oyster. At kapag patuloy na lumalabas yung substance na yun, doon po nabubuo ang perlas. It turned out to be the most beautiful thing. The pearl. So you will see from here, it's a transformation out of what? Out of irritation, injury. It's not about what? Doing something to kill and to fight against it. It's a transformation overcoming the irritation. And this is the invitation for all of us, my dear friends. When we talk about preparation for heaven, I know there will be difficulties in life. There will be problems, there will be challenges, there will be pains, there will be suffering. But do not permit to let it happen. That in the midst of those things, of those realities, we turn out to be evil. Ito yung sinasabing, wag mong, wag kang pumayag na maging masama dahil lamang sa kasamaan ng iba. Wag kang pumayag na maging evil simply because of the human sinfulness. No, the invitation is this. In the midst of this human limitation, human suffering, let us do something to have this personal transformation. And that's the way to heaven. You know, today is also the feast of our very own Blessed Jane of Aza, the mother of our holy founder, St. Dominic. And Blessed Jane of Aza is also known for compassion to humanity. During her time at that time, meron pong suffering na nangyari sa kanyang salipunan. And what she did was to give, to give up everything. She gave up all her properties together with Felix, her husband. For the sake of humanity, binigay niya ang lahat para sa kahirapan ng kanyang komunidad. That even to the point na binigay niya yung mga wine na napaka-presyo sa pamilya nila, lalong-lalong na kay Felix na kanyang asawa. Dahil nga sa awa ng kanyang mga kababayan, naubos po iyon. Then suddenly, 
Felix, her husband, was informed about that. Kaya nga naman, nung dumating ang kanyang asawa, si Felix, nang hingi po sa kanya ng wine. At nagmamadali siyang bumaba doon sa cellar. At nung alam niyang ubos na ito, may halong kaba at takot dahil naubos na ito, nagdasal po si, Blaise, si Blessed Jane of Asa. Nagdasal. At dahil doon sa kanyang taintin na dasal, nagkaroon po ng himala. Suddenly, punong-puno po ng wine. So you will see from here, it's about transformation that in the midst of sufferings, in the midst of human limitation, in the midst of human weaknesses, even in the midst of our own sinfulness, let us do something to remain good. Let us do something to choose good. And let us rather decide to have our personal transformation. With this parable of the pearl, it tells us this is the way to heaven.